What is going on people, welcome to episode 4 of the Palace Project and well, it may well be the last episode of the Palace Project um, yeah, it, as you can see on screen it's not got much better We are. At, I said we'd come back for the West Ham game we've just played the Liverpool game as you can see, my manager performance isn't great we're still in 19th only, well, we're 3 points off the, sa uh, off the safety off of safety and, um, yeah, we've got one of these. Um, so let's attend the meeting. Actually, no, let's uh, let's show you what's been going on first. Um, so, since you were last with me, lots of red, as you can see, uh, was the City game. We then lost to Burnley, and this was... We'll just highlight it rather than go into it. Yeah, that, um, that was heartbreaking. We were definitely good enough to come away with something in this game and then just a sucker punch and we lost the game. We then drew one all with Bournemouth. They took the lead fairly early and we grabbed an equaliser late on. We then got hammered by Watford, 3-0. We then actually won a game. As you can see, Eduardo has come in. He's actually done fairly well. Um, only two star, but look, he's going up. He's improving all the time. Um, I actually wanted to show you this goal because it was an absolute screamer. But we went 1-0 down and Scotland equalised. Then we went 2-1 down just before half-time. Eduardo scored and then we got an, uh, a winner in the 91st minute. And I was absolutely buzzing off my little titties. Um, but we'll show you the Eduardo goal because it was something magical. So he picks the ball up on the edge of the area there and then just floats one top bins. The man's a machine. But yeah, so that was... I thought, okay, this could be the catalyst. Three defeats since then. Uh, a 1-0 home defeat to Everton. The scrappiest goal you ever see. But we're again, really good value for a point. Then got beat 3-1 by Wolves. Um, fairly convincing that was. It was, again, a sort of... Um, it was 1-0 to them. Then we equalised. Conor Cody scored. And they just started pushing for an equaliser. And then they hit us on the counter-attack. And then most recently, a 4-2 defeat, uh, the game I've literally just played at home to Liverpool. They were 4-0 up. We scored a couple of goals in response, but obviously it's Liverpool. So, um, yeah, that was always going to go badly. So, this is where we're at. Let's attend the meeting. Uh, we're not happy with your current performance considering your position at the club. We would like to know why you think you performed so badly. To be fair, injuries have been ridiculous. If I had a fully fit squad, I'm sure we would have been doing much better. So let's see what they say. The number of injuries this squad isn't that bad. I mean, are you serious? Have you seen our injury history this season? Um, I promised that things will look better. And I'm like, no, tell me what I need to do. Um, the last thing this club needs more upheaval. Um, I'm not going to go with one of the ones towards the bottom because they tend to just be like, no, nah, you're not bigger than the club, sorry. Uh, what do you need to do to my job? We'll give you some time. Nine points in five games. Get a little lower. I feel this. Um, okay, I'll get on with it. So there you go. Nine points in five games. And we have West Ham, Tottenham, Leicester, Chelsea and Norwich. So we need three wins out of those five games. So you're looking at these three games that we need wins from? Yeah, it's not looking unlikely. I think we'll be job hunting at the end of this uh, this episode. But I will, uh, I'll fast forward. I will show you the highlights of uh, the coming games. Because I imagine we'll fail at our task pretty early on. So um, yeah, I'll just show you highlights of each of the games going forward. And let's see if I can somehow miraculously save my job. Okay, so we go into the West Ham game with this lineup 5 3 2 system. Hennessy in goal, Tonkins on the right, Mentor on the left, and Dan in the middle of the three. Joel Ward at right back, Reader Ward at left wing back. Um, MacArthur, Kuate, Milivojevic in the middle, Eduardo, and are you up top? There were literally no highlights in that first half, so it's nil nil at half time. One nil West Ham, and this is some seriously poor goalkeeping. Just look, Jetty has played through, takes it wide, and then Hennessy. Yeah, one nil West Ham. 
And it finishes 1-0. I feel like that was probably our best chance. West Ham haven't even got a manager at the moment. I feel like that was our best chance to get three points. So, um, yeah, let's just get on with the inevitable. I couldn't even have. I didn't even have the heart to bring you the game. But, um, yeah, we lost 2-0 to Spurs. Kane penalty, which really sucked. And then Son scored late on. So, we've got... We have to win every game from now. So if we drop points against Leicester in the next game, we are sacked. I'll just bring the result and the inevitable news. And there we have it, ladies and gents. A 1-0 defeat to Leicester. Five minutes to go. And well, there we go. Jamie Place has been dismissed from his job. I think that's the first time I've ever been sacked on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I am very happy right now that I no longer have to deal with that. Th they are quite possibly the worst team I've ever managed on FM. I, so frustrating. But, well, it, this portion of it lasted four episodes. Um, I mean, I want to I wanna press on with this save. I want to play in this game world. We'll just pick up another job. Um, I mean, let's have a look. we've got England, France, Germany, Italy, Spain loaded up. I wouldn't be adverse to going anywhere. Um, yeah, Chen Tosin can do one. He's absolute awful. But let's, I mean, let's look at the Palace squad, right? So, um, can we see average rating? So we had three players, but well, one player whose average rating was above a seven, and that was Van Arnholt. So it just so bad. I mean, even Eduardo's up there, and like that just says it all, does it not? Like they are so bad. No wonder they get relegated all the time. Let's see what jobs are about. There's quite a lot of jobs. I mean, okay, obviously Valencia stands out straight away. Pamplona, that's um, Osasuna, although they are bottom of the first division. What's the play here? Do we just aim as high as possible? I see Malaga is a. Uh, is there, um, you know, or do we just take a job that's offered? So we'll find our level, I think. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to... Well, why don't we do the job search together? Let's sort of just apply for jobs. Um, that'll be the next episode. We'll apply for jobs and then we'll see where we end up. But this is, um, yeah, this has fallen flat on its face. <laughs> so, um, I think I'll call it there, guys. If you've enjoyed today's episode, do you know what? I actually feel like I have. I feel like a burden is lifted and I feel relieved. We go again. But yeah, if you have liked today's episode, guys, please pop, please pop a thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you for a job hunt in a piece.